Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the three-way composter, the European Nightcrawlers, Red Wigglers, and African Nightcrawlers. If you remember last week, we filled almost to the top with coconut core, and you can see the levels have dropped significantly. So I wanted to go through like we have been one section at a time and take a look and see how the worms are doing. All right, so here we are with the European Nightcrawlers, and the first thing I notice is a mature cocoon down here. If I can pick it up, I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, a baby is hatching. Poor guy, I'm putting him in the light. How cool is that? He's retreating, there's a little mite on my finger. Oh, poor little guy. Well, we know we're getting getting babies because one is trying to hatch on us right here and I'm gonna put him back because that light's gonna bother him. He won't be able to make his way out. It's the second time I've caught that. That's really, really cool. I think I just saw a yellow cocoon. So it's a freshly laid cocoon. So even though I thought that this was a relatively small system and that they might feel cramped, it still seems like they're laying quite a number of cocoons. The cocoons are successfully hatching, as we're just seeing. Everything looks fantastic in here. I'm eager to get these guys back into their section so that I can leave that poor little wisp alone to let him hatch. But that's really, really cool. So let me put this, these guys back and then I'll pull out the uh, red wigglers. Okay, so the red wigglers here, looking nice and pretty red color. Put that little baby right down, let's see, right there. Just saw a cocoon, there's a little golden freshly laid cocoon. That right there is a pot worm. People have asked about those before. They're not harmful. Another cocoon, golden cocoon there in the bottom. So again, they're really surprising me considering the small environment that they're living in. They're, they're thriving and they're even reproducing. I'll be interested to see with time if their size, if they don't grow to size because of the limited space that they have but they are looking quite, quite good. Another cocoon. So yeah, these guys are also doing fantastic. I could not be more pleased. There's another cocoon. Lots of little babies. Everything's looking excellent. So I'll put these guys back as well and we'll finish up with the African night crawlers and probably give these guys a little something to eat. Okay, and here are our African night crawlers. And there's a baby. And I think any immature worms that we started with in here would be mature by now. So I think any babies that we're seeing now were born in this system, which is pretty cool catch a few little flashes off that guy. The lighting is right. You can see that purple, purple hue they put off. It's pretty cool. I'm not immediately seeing cocoons in here, but the worms are of all different sizes, and I really didn't know if they would grow to size. 
in here or stay at their size because of the confined space, but they're proving me wrong all over. So really everything looks absolutely fantastic. So I really couldn't be more pleased. I really was hoping to spot a cocoon in here somewhere. There very well may be cocoons, I'm just not spotting them. Looks great. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of blended food. Um, I don't think I need to add any more bedding right now, but I am going to put just a little, maybe a teaspoon or so of blended food into each container. I will show you very quickly as I do that, and then we'll leave these guys for another week. Um, so let me get that together and we'll call it uh, a day. Okay, so let's get these guys a little bit of food. I just kind of dug a little trench in each one of these. And I've got some blended food that I'm going to kind of pour in and then make sure it's covered up real well. I have a mix of all sorts of, of uh, kitchen waste, mainly vegetables. I think there might have been a banana in there. I'm not positive. Um, so I'm just going to do one of these little, what is this, a tablespoon, I guess? Yeah, a tablespoon in each of our compartments. That should be more than enough for this small system. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my dry mix on top of each of these feedings. Ooh, that was a lot. Anyway, perfectly fine. And I'm just going to loosely cover this back up. And I am going to put just a little bit of shredded cardboard on the top just because I do see some mites in here and I want to prevent them from proliferating on us. So I'm just going to fill this completely to the brim with shredded cardboard because as we can see, they kind of cut this in size pretty quickly. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I might add a hair um, drizzling of water in each of these containers as well just because it, it felt moist, but I think it could be a little bit more moist and still be okay. You have to be careful because this is a small enclosed system, but I definitely think it could probably benefit from some of that. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe so you can get some more content from me and follow me along on my journey. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you real soon.